Kashi, also known as Varanasi, is one of the seven Mukti Stals of Bharat. The others being Ayodhya, Mathura, Dwaraka, Haridwar, Ujjain and Kanchi. Of these seven, three places namely Ayodhya, Varanasi and Mathura have been in the news for efforts to reclaim the prime temples that had fallen to the invaders. Presently, a petition is filed seeking permission to worship within the Nyanwapi mosque in Varanasi, claiming that it was built atop the original temple of Lord Vishwanatha. Today, there is a temple of Vishwanatha adjacent to Nyanwapi mosque, but it was built by Rani Ahilya Bai of the Maratha Empire in 1780. The original temple was built by Raja Vikramaditya 2050 years ago, claimed the petitioners. Looking back at the history of Lord Vishwanatha, this temple had existed even in the Mahabharata times. The wax palace in which the Pandavas were tricked to stay was built in Varanasi only. The Pandavas were lured to go to Varanasi to witness a colorful festival for Lord Shiva in this city in the month of Falguni. The Mahabharata states that they started their journey to the temple in Varanasi on the eighth day of Palguni month that is on Shukla Ashtami. Even today there is a grand festival of colors much like the holy festival celebrated in this temple on the eleventh day that is Shukla Yegadashi of Palguni month. The Mahabharata having taken place more than 5,100 years ago, this striking similarity offers evidence for the continuous existence of this temple for more than 5,000 years. The temple traces its beginning from the time River Ganga started flowing in the early years of Holocene. Lord Shiva appeared as Swayambhu from under the ground and had water filled in this place. That came to be known as the celebrated Nyanvapi, which means the well of knowledge. It is said that this well is fed by the waters of Ganga from under the ground. Search for knowledge and salvation ended one in the Vishwanatha temple of Kashi. This famed city with its temple came under attack for the first time in the 11th century by the associates of Salar Masood, the nephew of Mahmud of Ghazni. In the 12th century, the Gurids destroyed this temple and built Razia Mosque over that. The temple was rebuilt in the 13th century on the very site where the Nyanwapi Mosque stands today. It was demolished by Mughal rulers once again. During the period of Akbar, Raja Man Singh, the Maharaja of Amber in Jaipur, rebuilt the temple in the 16th century. This temple was demolished by Aurangzeb in the 17th century, upon which he built the present mosque. It was originally called as Alamgir Mosque after his original name, Alamgir. It came to be known as Nyanwapi Mosque, which by itself reveals that it occupied the famous temple of Nyanwapi. The evidence for the original temple for Lord Vishwanatha exists in the account of the life history of Tulsidas. Commanded by Lord Shiva in his dream, Tulsidas started writing the story of Rama in the local dialect called Avadi. He presented it to Lord Vishwanatha. 
to test the worth of this epic poem it was kept at the bottom of the pile of sanskrit texts in front of lord vishwanatha in the garbhagraha and the doors were closed the next morning when the doors were opened people found the work of tulsidas on top of all the other works the words satyam shivam sundaram were found inscribed on the manuscript of ramcharit manas with the signature of shiva a temple of such marvelous miraculous events was destroyed by aurangzeb a few decades after tulsidas it was destroyed in the year 1669 with a mask replacing it though there are people unwilling to believe it the american historian audrey trashke known for her anti hindu stance writes in her book aurangzeb the man and the myth that the nyanwabi masjid was indeed built during aurangzeb's reign the masjid incorporates the old vishwanath temple structure destroyed on aurangzeb's orders as its qibla that is direction towards kaaba in mecca as its qibla wall the southern side of the mosque built on the pre-existing temple structure leaves a novented doubt that a temple was demolished to build the mosque this seems to be a deliberate act to insult the hindus and cause heartburn writes matthew shering in his book on varanasi titled the sacred city of hindus written in the year 1898 the garbhagraha along with two shrines were destroyed to build the three domed mosque while the other structures such as the bull and the nyanwapi well were left untouched no one knows what happened to the jyotirlinga the image of lord vishwanatha but all accounts say that the pujari of the temple in a bit to safeguard the murti had thrown the lingam into the well with himself jumping into the well history is silent for the next 22 years on what happened to the lingam and the people around a descendant of raja man singh visited varanasi in 1698 with a plan to retrieve the temple and rebuild it but was resisted by the nawab of aud only 100 years later rani ahilya bai succeeded in building the temple for vishwanatha not at the original site but next to it however there is no word on whether the original lingam was retrieved and relocated in the new temple no one knows what happened to the murti of lord vishwanatha now with the court stepping in to allow archaeological survey the day is not far off to know what happened to the temple perhaps god will reveal himself when the time comes